Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Alma Sena and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and a little bit of Depop. And today I have a super exciting haul. Um, I went thrifting this weekend and I was kind of disappointed because I wasn't finding many things at all. But then I drove by this house and they had a garage sale sign. So I definitely had to stop but as you know, right now is winter. I am in Reno, Nevada, and it is winter, and we've had some snow. I'll try to show you. I don't, well, you can see it right there. The mountains have a little bit of snow. I've got my coffee, which I also got this mug at the garage sale. So I'm definitely pick that up. It was like a quarter. Mm. Coffee. And so anyway, this is a, a change up the scenery because where I usually film, um, there, it, there wasn't much light at all and I don't have a ring light or anything. So I'm filming out of my room. This haul is gonna be short. Again, what I was saying is I, I was kind of discouraged because not all thrifting days are winners or home runs, but this garage sale, you guys, was a home run. I found Doc Martens and Lululemon and some North Face. I was probably one of the first people to get there and this lady just wanted everything gone. I'll tell you guys right now, it was a little bit more expensive. Um, I did pay up for the Doc Martens. I'll tell you that right now. They were $20 a piece and each clothing item was $5. I'm gonna try to get these listed ASAP. These were amazing. And again, she was just $5 for clothing uh, and $20 for the Doc Martens. So, um, and the Lululemon shorts, it, they were $3 a pop. So yeah these were ugh, amazing i can't believe it okay so i'm going to save the shoes for last but let's start off with the clothing and a lot of this is well the vests that i found are my size so i am going to keep them for me this is a north face like a puffer vest and i believe this is a like reverse vest look at the inside super cozy and I couldn't find the size of it but sometimes for like expensive brands they have the size in the pocket this is an extra small so that will definitely fit me I don't even know if I'm doing that right but yeah how exciting um so I was definitely going to keep that for me it's the season right now for vests you guys if you guys have jackets coats winter gear anything listed I have been selling out of snow pants so fast so definitely get those items listed. Let me adjust my camera here. I don't know if that did any good. All right, so that's the first one. The second one is a Patagonia fleece vest. I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. It's a size small, I paid $5 for that. There we go. I mean, nothing special, it has pockets. Um, I'm gonna keep that as well. Just use it a couple of times and then I'll sell it for about what, $30? This one and the maybe the north face can go a little bit more because it's reversible but yeah oh and also i don't think i mentioned this but i'm new to youtube if you like this kind of content um please like and subscribe i'm trying to build up my youtube um, audience i like to do thrift hauls and um also i like to do what sold so i haven't had a chance to film much because i do work full time but again a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and i will try to get these videos out once a week that way you guys know what to look for. I mean, the obvious is, I mean, you guys know Doc Martens, North Face and Patagonia, but anyway, so let's continue with the haul. The next one, it was just this little North Face, like a salmon hoodie, also a size small. It's not my favorite color, but um, again, I can probably put it up for like $20. And I'm gonna try to have everything listed today in my stores. That way if you guys have any questions or comments just leave me a comment below the next was this is this one i'm gonna sell it's a north face just a puffer vest um this is a medium a woman's medium there's what this tag looks like and i don't think this one is a down vest mm, a nylon polyester yeah so it's not so I would think I'm gonna list it for about $30 maybe but yeah definitely I mean it, I guess I could make it work I'm usually a small but yeah there you go okay I'll just keep this on for the haul um 
here's where the Lululemon haul starts. These are an extra small, um, actually no, they're a two, size two. I haven't tried them on yet, but they're like, uh, she says she's never worn these before. This is the Lululemon little upside down horseshoe. You guys don't know what the brand looks like, but these are like three quarter length, maybe even capris. And I'm pretty short, so I think I'm like five one, so they may have be three quarter leg on me. So again, I'll try these on as well, but Lululemon is definitely a bolo. You guys know all about that, what the logo looks like. The next seven items were incredible. I also found on top of this, I found two of the dance studio uh, Lululemon pants, but those have already sold. I sold them for $50. So yeah, the shorts, um, the next seven pair are all Lululemon. I haven't, I've listed them all, but I haven't had any hits on them. I've had a few likes and, oh, it's getting a little too warm here, so I'll take that off. I've had some likes on it, but no offers yet or anything, but um, these are all a size 12. And again, here's the Lululemon logo. These are like a checkered, they're, they're all lined by the way, like a gray with black shorts and i'm thinking i'm going to list all of them between 25 and 35 dollars uh depending on the platform as you know poshmark takes 20 percent so maybe a little bit higher on there these there was actually a rare pair in here i'll have to let you guys know which one that one is this is just like a blue navy blue polka dot there it is there's a little lululemon there but yeah i hit the jackpot with lululemon this uh, yesterday the next ones are just just a simple black pair they're all lined again all lined but there you go all the size 12 what it looks like I think they're all in excellent shape um, this one is the like a pistachio polka dot. This one had, does have a some discoloration on the bum. I don't know if you can see it, but Hi, there's some discolor, discoloration. I also obviously put that on my listing, but yeah, they're all size 12. I'll probably price this lower because of like the imperfection that is on there. So yeah, here we go. Here's another black pair. It's pretty much exactly the same as the other one. I've already washed them all, obviously. But yeah, here we go. Here's another. And the other things that I did find at the thrift stores, like I said, it wasn't a huge jackpot. I'll have to do another haul, maybe next weekend when I have time to film that. But this is just the garage sale thrift haul. And you guys, I can't wait to show you guys the shoes I found. Oops, there's my phone. Sorry. All right. Here are this other pattern. They have blues, greens, and purples. Sorry, you guys, the phone's ringing. Also size 12. And they all pretty much had the pull tab still. But you guys know with Lululemon, if you can't find it, they're pretty much always in the pocket area. See? There you go. Here. But yeah. Then the last one that I pulled, um, that I picked, this one doesn't have the pull tag. As you can see, here's an example of that. I can't find it there, but look, it's right there. But this is like the rare piece. I'm going to list this. I think they're already listed for like $80 or so. Oh, the sun is coming in now melting some of that snow out but yeah these are a rare print so uh, again this is gonna help me pay for more of what I spent this weekend on that garage sale okay the last part of my haul like I said before they are the boots gosh sorry my hair keeps getting in the way are the Doc Martin boots again I pay $20 a pair for these and I'm hoping to get about $150 a pair on all of these obviously before the fees but a lot of them are vintage I think three pair of vintage I want to say but I'll start off with this floral it's like a peach look at that mint condition I can't believe it 20 bucks is all she wanted 
I snatched them all. There was also somebody there, but I think I beat them to the garage sale because they just kept staring at me. But look at how cool. And for as old as they are, they hardly have any wear. I don't think she wore these much at all. But yeah, pretty cool. Look at this awesome pair. The next, oh, actually, look at, these are actually kind of similar, but look at this print. Look at that beautiful print, hardly worn. Look at that, so beautiful. And I think these are all a size eight, but yeah, let me show you the other two. We're almost done here, guys, it's coming to an end. But look at these beauties. These aren't, these don't seem as old. I feel like I've seen these online more frequent. But they're all like the Pascal, I guess that's what they're called, the 1460. Let me see. Maybe. These just say Pascal. That's all they say. But yeah, look at these beauties. So cool. Yeah, if I can, oh my gosh, just with one pair, if I sell, that will pay for like my entire um, garage sale finds and probably partial of my thrift finds. The last pair are the ones that are super cool. I think she got these at the thrift store, but they're super old looking. The bottom does have writing on them, but I think these will probably fetch the, more, the most money because they are made in England, if you can see. Some of the made in England ones are, you know, the OGs, the originals. And those can fetch you some good money. I've sold plenty of Made in England's um, and I have made some good money. But look at this again, guys, one last time. Look at this. I can't believe it. Look at all these beauties. Wow. But anyway, that was a super quick um, haul. I will do these weekly again. Please, if you like this, share uh, this kind of content, like and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I will be back here next week. Hopefully, I can release the other one on Saturday, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.